Hi there, my name is Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can connect a variety of different game controllers to your Android mobile phone. So I've got Android phones here dating from very old ones to very new ones. I've also got an old Android tablet as well. Now the controllers we're going to be testing are a Nintendo Pro controller, an Xbox One S controller, this is the one with Bluetooth built into it. The old Xbox One controllers will not work on your Android phones because they haven't got Bluetooth built in. Now I do have to say none of these phones are rooted so these are all original from the manufacturer. Nothing's been altered. We're going to be testing a PS4 controller, a DualShock 4 controller and also a Joy-Con from the new Nintendo Switch because this will also connect via Bluetooth. Now it's very hit and miss as to what will work and it's not necessarily anything to do with age. So we've got a very old phone here, we've got two new phones and then I've got an old tablet. Now on this tablet here the only thing I can get to work is the Xbox One S controller. On this phone here the only thing I can get to work is the DS4, the Pro Controller and the Joy-Con. On this phone here I can get everything to work and on this old phone here I can't get anything to work. They were all connect up so it says there's connect, they are connected but it doesn't do anything. You can't actually move anything about on screen. So uh, let me just show you how how this works. So on this particular phone here, because this is running on the newest system of Android as of when the video was made, you need to first of all turn on Bluetooth. So various ways of doing it. I'm going to do it the way that most of your phones will work. There is quicker ways where you can just go down and turn on Bluetooth, but I'm going to go via the menu down here. You need to go to settings. So you need to find where your phone says settings and you need to tap that button there. Then you need to tap on Bluetooth then you need to turn it on. Right, so now it's going to be searching for available devices, but that will only last for about 30 seconds or so. Right, I'm going to show you how to pair up each controller because it will be different on different ones. On the DS4, so this is a DualShock 4 for the PlayStation 4, you need to first of all hold down the share button, so press in the share button here and hold it down, and then at the same time hold down the PlayStation button. So do this one first, and then after that, press this and hold this one down and you need to hold it down for a few seconds and that will start start to flash so I'll show you that in a minute with this pro controller here this is probably the easiest one to do you just tap that button there and it seems to sync up to the devices immediately it's good that one on this one here again we've got a little sync button here on the Joy-Con little sync button and on the Xbox One S controller we've got a little sync button here so first of all let's do this one here and we're going to use the Pro Controller so with the Pro Controller I'm just going to hold that button in there and then it will start to flash across here where it's looking for a Bluetooth device so I'm holding it in now one and two and if you have a look now it's flashing so if we go to the phone and I'm going to search again so go up here and I'm going to press refresh and there you go, straight away it's come up with Pro Controller. Give it a tap, it will say pairing. Now it will say connecting. And there we go, connected. So that is now connected. So if you have a look here, you will see now, can you see I'm moving, moving it around the screen. Okay, I will show you a game at the very end. Now what you will find is that not all games are supported, in fact very few games are supported. Games like Asphalt 8 work really really well and on the Pro Controller Asphalt Extreme works really well as well. Uh, but what you will find is sometimes it might be different. So even though Asphalt 8 and Asphalt Extreme are made by the same company, you might well find that the controls are different between the games. So you will have to spend a few minutes at the beginning working it out. So that one's now connected to the Pro Controller. Now let's do this one here, this is an old Android, I'm going to connect this to, up to the Xbox controller. So this is this one here is a different way of getting into it. Again, we're going to go to the menu button here and we need to find settings. On this one, it looks like that. And I need to go to Bluetooth to turn it on. So tap Bluetooth and I'm going to turn it on up here. So now that's on. And now on this one, we're going to use the Xbox One S controller. So I'm going to turn it on here and then I'm going to press this button here to put it into syncing mode. And can you see now it's looking for Bluetooth devices because it's flashing fast. Right, I'm going to go to search for devices here. Okay. 
and it's come up with Xbox wireless controller. I'm gonna, and if you have a look at the moment, you see the Bluetooth symbol is just blank up there. When it connects, that's gonna go to a solid blue. So I'm gonna tap that and it should say pairing. And now it says connected. And can you see the Bluetooth's gone to solid blue and now it's gone to, the light's gone to solid as well. What I will say is on the Pro Controller, I forgot to mention, it will keep flashing like that. Even though it's connected, it will keep flashing like that for the whole time. Right, so now if we go to the menu here, you can see now, can you see it working its way around the screen? Yeah? Right, so that's that one connected to there. Now let's use this phone here and we will connect up the PS4 controller, this one here. Right, so I'm gonna go into a different way. Again, I can go the menu way, but another way of doing it is scroll down from the top there and you can just turn on Bluetooth. And then if I tap the little Bluetooth icon here, and go to more settings, and now it's looking for available devices. So for this one here, I'm gonna hold down this button here and hold down the PlayStation button and you will see it will start to flash like a strobe light. There we go. So now that's looking for devices. And here we go, it says, it says wireless controller. So I'm gonna tap that there and it will say pairing. And now it says connected. And now this one here has gone to solid, DualShock 4, and you can see now I'm scrolling around the place. Right, and the last one to connect up is the Joy-Con. Now, this phone over here doesn't work, so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna disconnect on, I'll disconnect on this phone here that I've just connected to. So to disconnect, it's really easy. Just, again, go to the Bluetooth menu. So I'm gonna go tap wireless controller. And at the moment, it says wireless controller connected, and you can see that the light is solid. I'm just gonna tap the X there next to it. And now, it's not connected anymore, and you can see now that the light's gone out. So now, let's look for the Joy-Con controller. So what I'm gonna do is put the Joy-Con into pairing mode. So again, there's no lights flashing anywhere. I'm gonna hold this button down in here. And there we go, now that's looking for Bluetooth devices. And let's go to more settings. And we're gonna go, there you go, it's already come up with it, available devices, I'm gonna tap that. It will say pairing. It says Joy-Con R for right. If it was a left one, it would say Joy-Con L for left. There we go, so now it says pairing, now it says connecting, and it's connected. You might also notice that the Bluetooth symbol changes up the top. It's got two little dots next to the Bluetooth symbol. So now we should be connected to the Joy-Con. You can only connect one Joy-Con at a time. There you go. Yeah. This phone and this Joy-Con doesn't work very well together. The Joy-Con works really well on this phone here, the one down here, but on this one, there is a bit of a delay, so it's not the best. You can see the delay now when I'm doing that. But the Joy-Con does work well, it's just for some reason on this phone it doesn't seem to work well. Right, okay, game time. So what we'll do is, let's use the Nintendo Pro Controller because this is the newest one out, and we'll go to Asphalt on this particular phone here. Go to Asphalt 8, because this game works very well with the gamepad. While that's loading up there, I'm just gonna go to Roblox on this one here. Right, so with this one here, we've got this for Accelerate, and we've got this one for Brake and Reverse. We've got this one here to do the different camera angles. And we've got left stick for left and right. And then, then we've got A for boost. And then we've got the home button for menu. 
Yeah. So you can see on this one, this game works really well, and you can do all the items via your controller. So you can put this away from you if you wanted to connect it up to your TV, you can do. What you'll find on some games, like for example Hill Climb, you can do the accelerate and brake on your controller, but then you wouldn't be able to actually go through the menu and stuff. You've still got a, some, on some games, you've got to use the touch screen for certain items, and then you can use the gamepad for other items. But on this particular one, you would be able to do the game and everything from your pad. And just to show you the Xbox One S controller working on Roblox, you can see there, he's moving around the place, looking around, jump. So test them out on your games and see if they work or not. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out. Take care. Bye now.